Good morning. It is five minutes past 11 on Sunday the 16th of June. It is Father's Day and it is time for... Day in my bedroom! <laughs> so how are you? How are you? I hope you are well. Um, happy Father's Day what? to... You know, anybody's... The weather's not good out there. got daddies, any daddies that are out there. Whether you're here or whether you are in the next life, wherever you are, Can happy I Father's Day on from us. Can I go on your lap? No, you can't go on my lap. But, but you can draw. I can't with you on my lap, no. So last night I Look did my... Look at my, my ...night face cream and my hat. Where's your other little Spider-Man? But he's... Lost. No, he's upstairs in your room somewhere. Don't touch my mic with the Spider-Man. <laughs> Daryl. What did I just say? I touched it with my finger. Yeah, well, don't touch it at all. We're having one of those days. Hello! One of those weekends. Move, please. Move away if you can't be quiet. Um, yes, we're having one of those weekends. Mummy says don't do that. And he goes... And does it anyway. Mom, can I with my feel? I did a present yesterday in a little while. You could go play for a bit, please. In 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 here. I suppose so. Are you gonna be quiet about it? Or yeah. you know it, oops. I will be quiet. You're gonna be quiet, are you? Yeah. Oh. Mom, I'm gonna drive the pirate ship. Uh, no you're not. That's not a pirate ship, that's my scale minder, leave it alone. No, it's not a toy. Move away from it, please. Well, I'm sick and tired. Oh, yeah, I know the feeling. Move away now. I have this big wheel shaped thing, as in like a pirate ship wheel shaped thing. And it's for when I finish um, spinning yarn, you wind the yarn around this big wheel thing to make a skein. And then you wash the skin, you hang it up. It helps sort of set the twist and all that lot. Well, of course, somebody thinks it's a pirate ship and he won't leave it alone. The thing is, this skein winder I've got is quite old. Mum, I just need the toilet. Go on, then off you go. See and it's bit, quite, you know, it's not fragile, it's not delicate, but it's not exactly up for a four year old to play with it as a pirate ship. So I must have told him a billion times yesterday, please leave it alone. I didn't help matters by actually taking a photograph of him and posting it on Instagram. I did try and do it sneakily, but he caught me. Um, I've really completely and utterly failed in regards to my chores this month, but you know, I suppose it's pretty understandable. I put the dishwasher on, but I forgot about the pet box. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, my kitchen isn't too filthy. Um, I haven't made too much mess out there, but it does need to wipe down. So I need to get out there today and sort it out. Right. I need to sync up my planners. I would do that, but I don't know where my A6 is. Where's that? Basically, syncing up my planners entails me, for those of you that haven't seen before, if you have seen before, skip ahead. I carry an A6 in my bag because I don't want to carry this one out and about with me. It's heavy, it's bulky and it's precious to me because I have all my memories in this thing. This is just my planner. Okay, there's a little A6 planner. I just draw it in with plain paper. I've got a book here that is for notes. This is going to be a sketchbook for when I'm out and about. Um, I've got a pencil and all that lot. And then this is for um, the big house. So this is the most used part of it. This is my planner. I have to, I make sure once a week that this, this and my Google Docs, you know, my Google Calendar are all in sync because my mum looks at my Google Calendar. So what I do is I just go through this for the, usually just for the remainder of the month. Um, I don't tend to jump ahead until we're into like yeah, this month. Yes, you happy Halloween. Oh, is this your happy Halloween pumpkin? This is happy Halloween pumpkin. It's a squishy. Yeah. Right, move out the way. So all I do here is I just check. We are on what are we on now? We're on the 16th. 
So I've got a parents you read tomorrow. Mm. Let's got doctor. Mm. Oh, that's Kate. Excuse me, please. Right. So those two are up to date. And then all I do is I just go into my Google Calendar, my Apple Calendar, sorry, not my Google Calendar, my Apple Calendar. My mum and I both have um, Apple devices. So, right. So I haven't actually updated this. So I've got a parents' evening at the school at 2.30. Uh, Happy Halloween is really bouncy. Is it? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. So that's in. Ow, Daryl. Sorry. Get it off, please. It's Happy Halloween. You threw it and it landed on me. Yeah. I don't actually need to put that one in because that doesn't pertain to me. It's just that I have to remind Alex he has a doctor's appointment. Um, the rest doesn't need to go in. Play is there. Isis has a bath. Oh, and I have an appointment with Dr. Trow. Uh, Dr. Dr. T. Sandown Health Centre. At 15.40. Travel time, walking is 20 minutes, but then it's time to leave. And that's it. So I'm now all up to date, which is fan dabby dozy. July's all drawn in and ready to go. Daryl's last day at school. It's like four weeks and we're done. And then he goes to big school. Not quite ready yet. ready so oh, where was it? There we go. oh that's in today's pen anyway we didn't change the pen yet so let's change the pen and then we can um... now this looks exactly the same color as the last pen but it's not apparently I won't go in there right so I would just write that we synced Today I'm going to dig out two pictures for May and one for June. I'm going to set up week 25. I am going to also do the July book today. Okay, so weather. The weather looks like that today. It's grey, it's raining, it's fucking horrible and I'm done with it. It's the middle of June. I want a barbecue. I want a fucking barbecue. I want to sit outside and have a drink and eat food and chat to my family. My house just isn't big enough to fit everybody in, you know. Mom, um, I'm trying to throw it out to the sky. A couple of friends around. Right, I downloaded the Met Office weather app yesterday. Enable daily pollen yeah. alerts. Oh, yes, please. Manage alerts. <laughs> Search for all right. So I need to um, P -O. that's not freaking good, is it? Ma, I'm feeling happy Halloween. Doesn't recognize my uh, my pet, my full postcode, which means it probably does it for Newport and not here. Okay, so let's try. Um, I did you a kiss. Thank you very much. Let's try. Um, Let's try. We do a lot of kisses. Isle of Wight. There you go. That's better. We Let's do save a, you. We do a lot of kisses. So I'm not at the Queen Bower. I am at Sandown. So how do I? You you put. Oh the... right. So how do I make this my default one? Dubai. Right. Okay. So. It's Happy Halloween. I'm not used to this, so you'll have to bear with me. I guess that's my high and my low, although it's a 17 during day and 13 at night. I just 
Happy Halloween! I'd like to draw that it is quite windy. Is that? And that it's raining. So let's <coughs> draw my little raindrops. I need me um. Sunrise is 04.51. Sunset is 21 at 19. Daryl! Leave the wheel alone. I could dismantle it and put it away actually because I don't use it that much. Right. So, wind. So we've got a yellow weather warning on Tuesday of thunderstorms. Lovely. Um, right. That's beside the point. So, wind, don't you draw that as a sort of. Isn't that how it goes? Like that. Because it's quite windy. Yeah. We're going to do it like that, people. Okay. So. Because I'll know what that means. Because that to me is, I'm sure that's wind. I'm sure that's what they used to do on, on like the weather, the sticky on maps that they used to do before it all got like posh. <laughs> okay, that is now a little bit too dark because it got to be carried away. I hate using, I hate using palettes. Why doesn't it transfer? Why have I got to fight with it so much? I'm thinking of like roughing the palette up a little bit like you would with a plastic one to give the paint something to bloody well hold on to so I mean look it's just vanishing it just like beads away and disappears is it all in my brush it just seems like a waste because I end up wiping it off onto bloody tissue paper okay that's nice and moody isn't it Is you can only put down a limited amount of water on this and then it starts to bubble. It's great for everything else, but paint really. You can see it in the cloud, it sort of started to like pick the paper up. I think it's bloody So there you go. I mean, I, know, I don't know, you guys probably can't see it very well, but I can read the. There you go. So I can read the sunrise sunset and the temperature today clean no oh, yes wrong one day face cream clean the loo in the late this in the other one I don't plan on doing much today either the rain usually makes me feel quite depressed and I've got all these videos that I want to do so I'm not really up for doing a shit out of housework I'm certainly not stripping the beds because I'm not using my tumble dryer and all my electric to do something that I should be able to do out on the frickin' line. Hoping tomorrow will be a bit nicer. I'll have to check my Met Office in a minute, won't I? Ah, so there you go, have a good day face cream. I'm gonna pull a card today. I haven't touched it since a couple of days before Stuart died. Um, I just really haven't felt up for it. But I'm gonna today. Not sure which deck to use. <laughs> Let's go with the old and faithful, shall we? Because it's the one I'm most in tune with, I think. <laughs> Quite appropriate to pull the Emperor on Father's Day. The Emperor is a guy that you look up to. Okay, he's strong, he is calm, he's logical. Okay, he loves animals as you can see, he's intelligent, but he's a calming influence. Now this might not actually be a man, okay, this might, this could be a person, this could be just a state of mind, okay, um, but that's what it's gearing you towards, being logical and staying calm. And that's literally all I'm going to write for that. 
I might write a little bit more once I've had a bit of time to reflect on it, but that's where I'm staying. We'll do the presents later. Uh, okay. Let's see what we're doing weather-wise. Uh, weather 6192, 2.6 miles. Sleep was, I was so tired, but I couldn't sleep. It's always the frickin' way, have you, have you noticed? Have you noticed that? It's like, so it says uh, that I went to sleep around one o'clock and I woke up, now let me see, I woke up at half past six, about to sleep about seven. about eight I think it was so, yeah. my Alex likes to wander around while he's brushing his teeth he thought I was awake so he wandered into my room this morning God, I need heart failure because I normally wake up to wake him up and his alarm normally I normally hear it because he's got like the loudest alarm in the world because he's awful for getting up in the morning. He always has been. So um, I said, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm going to have a lie in, but it's cool. I'll hear your alarm anyway. I don't hear a bloody thing. So I must have been out cold at that point. So it's away, isn't it? Going to sleep is awful. I want to stay in bed in the morning. Right. I need to just draw in some black lines. I just find it looks so much neater with the black around it. Your mileage may vary, as they say. Yeah, I'll be in in a sec to turn your film on. Right, I've done the loo. Yeah, you have. I cleaned the loo, didn't I? Yay yeah. me. Yeah. But all I've done done anything else oh. okay right I'm gonna jump ahead to today and I'm actually gonna do some of this now um, or am I I don't know I might do it in a bit but yeah are you gonna come over and say bye then but we need to do, something else. do we need to do something else I'm gonna go on and get on with all put, my um, put your phone so hang on hang on I'm gonna go on and get on with my little list here so that I know what I'm doing hey. and then I'll come back and we'll do the arty stuff and all that lot a bit later on all right so, so you put your phones up yeah and what that leave a comment leave a comment we love comments we do love comments and then click the book and then click the bell for you when I could take upload oh new content there you go i did it you did it yay <laughs> and i will see you for could you stop nudging me he squeezes in between me and my car and then he just pushes on my chair and it's frustrating as hell right um i will see you in the evening edition see you all later bye I've had a very, I've had a busy but quite a lazy day, yeah. Um, I will explain all as I go along. Uh, okay, so we did the weather this morning, which is looking very grey and moody, moody. Um, I did not wear makeup. The challenges are ready to be penned in because I had those ready this morning and I thought about doing them. I just couldn't be bothered. Well, it wasn't that I couldn't be bothered, it was that I had like other videos that I wanted to get done, and I did, and I will link to them all as I go through the video and tell you which ones I did. Because I was a busy bee. So, challenges done. Uh, yeah, booze, fizzy, caffeine. I did not have chips, yay. And I crafted while watching Luke Cage. <laughs> and we'll do today's word in a minute.
starting I'm going through the um, Marvel Netflix stuff um, my son is a huge fan and I've got the list of what order I must watch it all in I've just finished Daredevil and I've moved on to Luke Cage season one so yeah right today I think we're still holding it around a seven mood wise so not doing too bad at all it's been a little bit better today I think because I've been sort of mentally distracted I haven't done much in the way of physical literally I've done 2300 steps so <laughs> I must admit my back's aching because I've been sat here for quite a lot of the afternoon. Um, so I ended up spending the evening in the other room. Um, so watch the telly. Um, so I'm going to put my pain at around a six. Uh, yeah, I've been sat in the other room because it's a different position to sit in, so it's not quite so bad. I'm really trying not to get my head in the way. I've just watched Backs this morning. Oh, my head keeps getting in the way, and I'm finding that so frustrating because it didn't used to do that with my old setup, and I don't know why I'm doing it with the the new cameras and that, you know. The only thing I can think of is because it's higher and I don't realise that I'm going into shot when I lean forward like this. So I need to know, basically, not to lean over, to just look down rather than lean. But when I'm, bit, you know, when I'm there and focused, I don't realise I'm doing it. Then I cringe because I'm watching about the footage and all you can see is my grey fuzz there and the shot. And, Okay, Sunday, you haven't done any of that, I literally haven't done any of that, and today, that's what today has been all about, filming, it's also been about Alex, Alex, um, Stuart's brother Neil is a wrestler, there's a, a group here on the island and he wrestles with them and he told Alex about it and um, Alex had his first training session today. He's come home covered in pumps and bruises. <laughs> That's great. But he had an amazing time which is fantastic so yeah. Right we did that this morning. Okay so first off week 25. It's done. There's a video. There it is. So that's done. I have picks for May and June, so let's get them sorted and get those in, and then we'll come back. I think the trick is I've got to learn to bring the book closer to me, rather than leaning forward. My main worry is if it flops and it hits my keyboard, it will cut off my recording. I've done that before. So my photo for May is this one of Daryl jumping through, jumping on the tree stumps in the park. And my June one is this one I took of Stuart. There's not many photos of Stuart. Um, he didn't like his photo being taken. So um, I've probably got more photos of him than anybody. Even though I'd get right royal well bollocking every time I took a photo, but there you go. The pics were done. You know what else got done? Another video popping up. The July book got done. And I made some templates. Just to stick things in my in my book. Just templates to draw around and you know pockets of various different sizes just to make things a bit easier. But yeah, here's the July book. Tom Waver of paper. Um, yeah, I had to go at quite a few things. I made a rounded bit there. So, it was quite funny, actually, me doing it. So if you want to giggle, go and have a look at the video. So there we go. Right, let's now 
get on with today's uh, challenges. So I'm going to stick some music on, I'm going to blurt through this and uh, yeah. That's it really, I'll see you in a bit. I had, <laughs> I had a hell of a time printing this up. It's a little thing that um, my daughter posted today on Facebook and um, I wanted to print it on an A5 sheet of paper that I had left over. Um, but I couldn't get it to move up to one corner. I don't want to print it right slap bang in the middle of, you know, it's this big. And it wanted to print right there in the middle. And I was like, but I want to move, and nothing, I, I couldn't get it to move. So if anybody can tell me on a fucking Mac how you do that, I'd appreciate it, but um, let me just pull up my focus doohickey so you can read what she wrote because it was really sweet. I've never wished my own dad a happy Father's Day because he's never been there for me enough to find the need to. However, I realised far too late that Stuart was there when I needed him to be and was the closest I was ever going to get to having a dad. Despite being in heaven, I hope he's having a fucking fabulous Father's Day as my granddad, drinking all the booze and smoking all the dope imaginable. And I just put, I can't put love and crying on the same post. Look, cow, she got me right there. Um, so yeah, I just, I thought that was really sweet. So I thought it could go in my book. Um, that yellow green mess is supposed to be a papaya. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, and the other prompt was a TV alien. And I, I'm, I just really didn't, I didn't, my favorite TV alien's probably Spock. You know, I grew up watching Star Trek, but I don't do people. And the only other thing I could think of to do was to draw the IDIC symbol. IDIC stands for infinite diversity and infinite combinations. Um, so I, that's what I did. Um, and then I realized I hadn't actually done the word prompt for a few days. So I went back and did those as well. Um, I've got to be really careful using my heat because the heat keeps making the receipt back. But hey, it looks uh, retro. So there you go. That's uh, everything. And hey, guys, you know, we, we cleared the list. The list is done. There's nothing to forward through, which is awesome. And that's this week done as well. So today in my Bujo tomorrow, we will be in week 25. And um, yeah, I've, I've got to stay in because I've got the garden delivery coming. So I'm going to do it.
do all my chores I think tomorrow and get blitzed and sort out and because I haven't been I've been slacking and I really need to get on with it so yeah uh, yeah so there we go all done you know what Dara said thumbs up comments book bell all of that stuff I'm not gonna repeat it and I will see you in Monday's edition of today in my video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and a lovely evening. And I'll see you tomorrow.